A different mood from the three previous books. Mm -hmm. Am I, is it fair to say that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think in a way it harks back to the plot against America, mm -hmm. where the, the community is menaced mm -hmm. in the plot against America by fascism, or what they think is fascism. And here the community is menaced by polio. Mm -hmm. Same community. Um, so, uh, no, and it, it, it is, it, there's a menace, and there's a menace, menace in the other three books. So, the other short novels, but this is special. Um, and when I was thinking about this book, when I was beginning it, I began it by thinking, what else was one menaced by in growing up in my time? Uh, I was born in 33, uh, right into the heart of the Depression, but I was much too young to ever really experience it. The first thing I experienced strongly was World War II. I was eight years old, and uh, I was a clever eight-year-old. And the war scared, scared me. Um, and I, I followed every, in the newspaper, on the radio, I listened to my father and his friends talk and so on. And then, recently, I thought, well, what, what else? What other menace was there? I remembered that there was the menace of polio. And it was as great as the menace of the war. We, we, we thought about it when it was mentioned to us, and then we went out to play, and we played. But the realities of it really couldn't be grasped by children until one of your friends got it. And, which happened to everybody, I guess, and it happened to me as well, a fellow who lived down the street from me, who was one of my schoolmates and friends, suddenly we heard, Jerry's got polio. Uh, I was 11, I was a grown-up boy, really. And um, it just forced one to realize that this menace we were warned against all the time was real. Mm -hmm. It was real. And uh, then in 1955, when I was in uh, graduate school, uh, in Chicago, the, the, the vaccine came out. And after that, the, in the next year or two, polio disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, so anybody in America under 50 years of age doesn't really, hasn't really had any first-hand experience of polio. Yes, it, not only mortality, but the fact that there are things out there over which you have no control, which can come and cripple you or kill you. And there's nothing to be done about it.